Hello everyone, this is Stacia Hummel and I am just showing you the products that I have bought so far in my cloth diapering experience and um, just to give you an idea of what how you can budget and uh, and what to look for. So we'll start with the fabrics, the absorbent and wicking. This is the white wicking fabric, four yards of it for $13.46. That was from Joann's on Extreme Sale and since I found out um, after I purchased those that all fabrics from Babyville are made in China. So I no longer endorse those, but I did buy it, so I, do, I will use it. This is Hemp French Terry for $13.65, one yard of that. One yard of the Bamboo French Terry, $13.85. If you're wondering why I'm buying almost everything in one yard, I haven't started yet. So I want to know what works and what doesn't. And um, therefore everything is in small quantities because I want to try it out first. Uh, this is a little tip from me and my mother-in-law, freezer paper for tracing your patterns. It works really nice, preserves your patterns, especially for cloth diapers when you'll be using it repetitively quite often. Thread, bought quite a few of them. 100% um, polyester always for 20 bucks. I don't know if that's a good brand or not. They said high quality. I don't know what that means. That's what I got. Moving on to our fold-over elastics. Um, I'm not sure I'm going to keep going with this. After I bought them, I read that they might not work as well with wicking. So uh, this is what I got. I'll use it to start and see how it works. I got red and 10 yards, and that's 3 quarter inch semi-plush. And that's to work well with hook, hook and loop. And uh, these, But they didn't come in a lot of colors, so I had to get yellow and green in the plush. And I only, you have to pre-shrink it, and I only washed it once, and it is starting to not fray, but kind of pill a little bit already on top. So those are the fold-over elastics that I got. I did get some small amount of hook and loop to see how I like it. This is the Touch Tape brand from Diaper Sewing Supplies. You will use more loop than hook, so I purchased twice as much. And then moving on to our pull fabrics, what everybody loves. The really pretty outer waterproof fabric from diaper sewing supplies. Um, I was trying to save money so I only got a 22 inch cut of this by the full width. I love this pattern so much. I'm going to try and get some more. I wish I had gotten a full yard or more. I love the colors. I love the print. I got also a one yard of butterflies from diaper sewing supplies. I also, this is another one of my favorites. They call it apple dapple on that site. But it is so gender neutral and you can just you can use any color with it to match your snaps and your velcros and or your fold over elastic. I just love it. This again is a Babyville print, bought it on extreme sale, but I won't be buying any more Babyville product, any more Babyville fabric because it's made in China. The pattern, however, is not that is made in the USA. I did call and ask them. Um, I also bought a sample pack of their solid pull that diaper sewing supplies sells. And that's been really nice because the pictures you see on the computer don't necessarily match. So it comes with quite a few colors and it comes just like this in a little baggie. All different sizes which is really annoying but um, they're all labeled with their colors and whatnot for $5.95. Bit steep on the price but that's their prerogative. And then these with diaper sewing supplies were all free when you pay a $15 or more order. So I have five little swatches here, not quite big enough for a large diaper, but um, if you do the wings in a different pattern or whatever, it could work. So I am still super excited about those, and if I like them enough, I'll buy them in a, in a full size. So that's pretty good marketing for them. What you don't see here are things that are in route to my house right now and or left at my mom's house. Um, I have a lot of pull that you haven't seen yet, but in good prices. It equals 100 bucks, but it's 15 and a half yards of other pull I've got coming in. I might do another video of that when it gets here. Also in the mail to me is another absorbent fabric called Zorb for $13.90, two yards of that. It's um, looks like a little more difficult fabric to work with, but if you get it right, the diaper will hold really, really well. The largest investment that I've made for my cloth diapering experience so far is the Cam Press. 
and I saved a little money by buying the bundle deal the bundle deal as you can see I bought the blue one and it says here the 500 full sets of snaps the colors of my choice and those are all the snaps you get quite quite a bunch a one die set for the size 20 plastic snaps and that's three pieces four allen wrenches and that's for installing the dies in the press and all of that for only one eighteen forty five. Now I do consider this a cloth diapering expense but um, not fully because I plan to use this on many other crafts and many other sewing for gifts and for our children eventually so I wouldn't um, consider that a necessity for your cloth diapers but it's definitely a luxury and something you might want to consider the patterns that I've purchased so far are the Babyville book I got that on sale for five dollars and then the la -di da pattern and that's a PDF file and so I included in the price the PDF plus the cost of printing because I live in the middle of nowhere and had to pay to have it printed so that's twelve dollars but then along with the cam press I purchased a couple other things um, I purchased some plastic containers you already saw the one that does not come with the press I purchased that separately at Walmart and all three of those total eight bucks and that'll be really nice when I start filling those up with different color snaps I'm gonna have another order going in here real soon for multiple colors and then this is a something I highly recommend is the sample snap colors it's one through sixty of their originals plus their specialty ones to match other fabrics and styles of diapers all of that for only four fifty to ensure that your colors match. So, pretty good investment so far, and uh, After I'm pretty that, pleased with it. The totals are, I guess you already saw it, but the product two seventy five twenty two, including everything not pictured. So don't freak out once you see what little I have on here. Shipping because I live in the middle of nowhere, and that includes everything again not shown because I've paid for it. Three twenty eighty eight, and if you would like to uh, invest in a cam press as well for other crafts or multiple sewing, my total has currently come to four thirty nine thirty three. Um, but this far exceeds what the pull that you would need for a personal stash. I'm hoping to sell some on Etsy. I don't have an account yet because I haven't started sewing. So uh, check in back with me on my videos as I embark on my journey, and I hope you can learn a little something about prices and. Um, and budgeting. Thanks for watching.